In this tutorial, you will learn to put together a coffee package template which I have developed of my favorite brand of coffee. There is a note regarding copyrighted material in the box below. I hope that you will see that this is for the beginner as well as the advanced. For the beginner, just print and follow the instructions on putting it together. For the more advanced, try making your own of products that you enjoy. Sometimes it takes more than one try, as you will see in this video. Let's go over the tools we will need. A hobby knife, steel ruler, scissors. These aren't the best, but this is what I use for when I want to cut paper. Always tweezers, toothpick for glue, white glue. We'll discuss glue a little bit later as well. You, we may need to use different glue. And I've got clear um, adhesive tape. You may only have this size. That'll do. A black marker, explain that later as well. And this little cone, which we will find handy when filling the bags, if you choose to fill the bags. So that's it. Those are the tools, very basic tools. And here we have the sheet with the three templates. We will cut one for now. I have made little marks. Let's see, get closer here. I've made little marks. These are your fold marks and your cut marks. On the top, they are white. They won't show. On the bottom, they are white as well. On top of the brown and on the side for the fold mark, there is a little one here that you have to remember. Easy enough because it just follows this through. So let's cut one out. I do not have my cutting mat, so I'm making do with a little cutting board that's out of bamboo. Not the greatest for cutting on, but anyway, you don't have to do today. And just, I like to use the other knife to cut any kind that you ha happen to have around, sorry, <clears throat> any kind you happen to have around. Exacto knife. This is just a very basic blade and cut way around. And on this side. And then the final side. Okay. Just a little bit. I prefer to cut out scissors. Remember to keep scissors for paper only. Just going to trim this off a little bit here. Won't really matter, but since it's showing, let's trim it off. Okay. So here we have the template with fold lines here and here. Here they come way down here, here, and here. And this is also a fold line here. Follow this. Those are all the folds. This is a very thin ruler. And you can try and score it this way, but then the score is the opposite way. So by putting the ruler on the score line, you score to the right side. Fold here and another one here. And then also score this side. And this is the bit that will go and glue 
on the inside of the other package. You also need to score along here just above the UPC, UPC code, just above that, or right there. And again, I tip it to the back, making a straight line, and score it there. Now, we have it all partly scored, and you can begin to see how it all goes together. This is the bag, easy enough, but when I was getting ready to make it, before I got to the point where I actually had a template, I, I stumbled a lot. And I just wanted to share with you how sometimes videos seem like it was a breeze when in fact there's a lot of work that goes into it. This particular one, I opened up my bag of empty coffee and took a photo, sent it to the printer, it wasn't the right size, resized and resized many prints later any prints later and these are just the ones I started saving once I realized I should share this with you because sometimes you um, attempt a project and you get frustrated because it didn't come quite right the first time you did it after one two three four five maybe 15 different prints I, I came up with this size printer the colors were not right because different printers print different colors. There's this one got really greeny, um, too green. It's not the right color, as you can see. Totally different. This one, much better. You've got this one, but you don't forget that in miniature, colors read darker than they actually are. So you don't need to have them as dark in order, again, just wanted to share with you how something so simple as making a template for a, a little package took a lot of tries, a lot of tries. This one was too tall, um, then I got fancy and thought, well, you know, I've got glue in my hand. Um, I wanted to fill it so that, so that I could, it could feel full and I thought if I fill it with glue it'll stick together. Well not quite. What happened was the glue had a lot of water content because it was just a cheap uh, glue I had around and the water seeped to the paper because the tape is only on the exterior of the paper not on the inside of the bag. So seeping it's still drying I can feel that it's moist so totally not the right thing. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I hope that you get something from this share. You really shouldn't feel like I can't do this. I've tried it once. I've tried it twice. Can't do it. Keep trying. Keep trying, and uh, eventually you'll get what you want. As you can see, you know there's size differences. Um, here they are. I printed out the one sheet that you'll find in the comments below. And it is um, a sheet with three packages. Now we will need to cut this out. But before we do, we have to consider the fact that the McAfee bag is actually very shiny. And that the print that I've made is not. We will need to adjust. There are a couple different ways to do that. One is to put scotch tape on it over the print, it's nail polish. Once it's all put together, sometimes depending on your printer, this will smear the paint. You can give it a go and see what works best for you. Actually, I'll show you both methods, the scotch tape as well as nail polish.
to be clear. One of the ways to make your package shiny is to do it before you cut it out. So I would just take the clear nail polish. You might need more than one coat, depending on the quality of your nail polish. Now I found that I had a rather cheap one at home and um, it, it didn't do a good job on the paper. I had to put about four coats before, before I got a nice shine from it. Um, so there you go. Therapeutic. Watching paint dry. Anyway, that's part of the fun. There you go. So, uh, chop that, and there it is, and it'll it'll dry nice and and even. But for now, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to use clear tape, clear adhesive. I use this size because it'll cover in one you know in one strip, but. Most of us have this one at home, and you can just use multiple strips to cover the, the area that you're wanting to do. Now, the way I do it is to place the tape over the areas that do not have to be glued together. In other words, no tape will go on the folding flap, and no tape will go on this, this bottom piece, because it will not glue together unless you're using a strong glue and why get that out when you can just take a little care. What we need to do is score the area of the bottom that will be used as the bottom of the bag. And you saw me do that before. Just scoring it along here. And we will score this flap over. Now I haven't cut it out yet. This gives you more material to work with. We'll cut it out afterwards. And I'll cut this out right up to the score line and right up to the score line. Like this. Okay. Put that out. Score this under, score this under. Now you have the, the areas you don't want to have tape that you'll be gluing will be free. And you take, so now we have the tape, and now you can just take the whole thing down right over to the edge there. Doesn't matter there, because you're going to cut that out. And there you go. Cut out the tape. Making sure you're not cutting out the flap that you've folded under. I'm burnishing it right now so that the color of the of the package comes through nice and the tape is nice and adhesive. So now you can proceed to cut out and I'm going to do this on top of a piece of paper, which is not what you want to do because it's going to cut right through. Yeah, not quite. And I'll use your cutting mat. Okay, there you go. So now you have that and you have your piece of paper all ready to go, ready to score. And you proceed the same way as before, scoring folding. There we go. I hope that the scoring lines have helped you somewhat. Now, I will be making the scoring lines black on the actual template that I'm going to give you. Uh, so you'll see that it'll be black instead of white uh, for a couple of reasons. Probably you don't have to be that careful about the score line, but also I think it sort of highlights the black is better for the folds. 
gives you more definition. And here you are. Oh, no, you're not. Now you're going to cut up to the fold line. There and there. I found this glue here, Goma Gum, which is, means uh, quick white glue. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. I don't know what's quick about it. It seems like it's just white glue and it's very runny. Um, I did. As you know, I use my fingers a lot, and that is why manicure does not stay very long in my hands. Okay, there you go. You have that, this. So you can take that little bit, put a little bit of tape on the bottom. Oh, I just realized I was off screen here, sorry. Sorry, here we go. Once you're done, you can use the tape. A little bit of tape to make that shiny as well or doesn't really matter um, there is your coffee coffee package all shiny that's my preferred shine that you would most like the bag that you would see in the store this particular bag this McDonald's coffee is very shiny bag and then you can just proceed to do your thing. Now we're ready to fill it up. Here's another kind of coffee that we use um, and we run out of McAfee and it's kick ass. Uh, just showing it to you so you can see that it's also the same kind of shiny bag. Let's see if it, there you go. So it's a very high shine these bags have and this one made its way to the Azores as well, there we are, and um, I'm going to scoop in there and fill up my my bag with actual coffee. Made a little funnel so it could fit in there. I'm going to use it, nothing fancy, to fill up my coffee and, oh wow, made a big mess. Okay, pushing down the coffee. Now, there you go, coffee in there. One more thing, you see these paper edges? Well, when you glue it together, you're going to have edges that look white. So this is where I showed you in the beginning, the magic marker. I will just go along the edge and paint the top with the dark, going all the way around so and okay now there you're gonna fold do a slight pinch slight pinch on the other side by cutting a little bit of shiny paper that I had or you can simply use um, a, a little bit of black tape actually black electric tape is the perfect thing the little flap ceiling the little ceiling thing that comes in the, with the bag I simply took some of this metal adhesive, colored it black, doesn't really color very well, but anyway, some of our struggles, there you go, let it dry, color some of it black, because it already has the adhesive in the back, and it's hard to glue to something that's been laminated or like this one I did, but it just doesn't want to stay put, you see. Cut a little bit of tape, a strip. Get this little bit here, and now you're ready to apply to your bag the way that you get it in the store. And no more fiddling with gluing. You cut off the excess. Like that. 
Here it is. Do the same thing with the other one. Might be a little more fiddly. But it's a stronger adhesive. But you have to peel it off. It's the only bit. So this might, if you really want to fiddle with this one, this might be a stronger one, but you do have to peel off the adhesive. So to recap, we went from these sketches and coloring, different colors didn't work out. And here's another one, but all of this was trying to put it together. And here's a really bad one. I This was so out of color. You have to adjust your printer. And here's another one. And then to this final one, which is pretty good. And this is the, the one that I did my final box from. This one, uh, as you can see, it's already shiny. Well, this is the one that I did with the nail polish, the really good nail polish. See that? It's very shiny. Now, have a look at the actual um, coffee packets. Well, here's the first one. I consider this a total failure. The color's off. It's really not good. When I first did it, I thought, well, oh, that's not bad, but it could get better, and it did. Remember the one that I filled with glue? Well, it's hard. It's not attractive. It's very tall. It's that limey green, which really isn't the right color. And then we have uh, another four. Two of them were colored. Now, these are good ones. Two of them were done with um, the nail polish. But you can see that there's a little bit of graininess. It's not quite that, that effect that you see on the store shelves. Here's another one which I really like. And it's done with the tape. The bottom with tape, the whole thing is with tape. Here's another one. And here's the little the little um, ties that that you use once you open up the coffee and you roll it over. Those are the ties that um, now this one this one was a bit of a struggle for me. Didn't get the glue going quite well, but here's a really nice one. And I think that if you do one like that and put it on the shelf, you like it. Here's the opened one, the one that once you, you open the bag, you have the ties and you put the ties around it. I don't know about you, but when I do it, it's never really nice and tidy, nice and neat. So this is how it would probably look like on my kitchen shelf. So this is it. Can't do just one. That's fine. Do a store. Get them all lined up. That would be nice, like that. And hope to see you here for the next video. I really had fun sharing this little project with you. So for more tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.